guys, welcome back to Rosewood. It is currently, what is it today? January the 6th, and it is around 9.38 a.m. So apologies if my voice sounds a little bit raspy. I just woke up. I'm pretty tired, but uh, I really want to get an episode recorded a little bit earlier than what I usually do. So anyways, let's see, what did we even do yesterday? We got our uh, town development permit 100% done, which is pretty darn awesome, if I do say so myself. I'm pretty happy. Um, to start off today, I think we're just gonna do our daily chores, that kind of stuff, try and whip through those as quickly as possible, and then we'll be moving on to, uh, talking to Isabel and seeing what we should do next, basically. So, uh, I hope you guys are really excited for that. Uh, let's see, did we get any new hybrids? I'm gonna doubt it. <laughs> I think this wasn't here before, but... That's just the yellow. Oh, hello. Awesome. Another uh, actual hybrid, not just like, you know, a, another normal plant. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, hey. Yeah, we're actually getting somewhere with these. We can uh, breed these together now. So that should be pretty awesome. Whoops, that's not- yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's see, um... <clears throat> you know what, let's just- let's try going for orange. In every single breed, how- or species, I guess, how about that? That sounds like, uh, something I wanna- I wanna kinda start doing, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna have to move these two out of the way for now. I know this kind of looks like a giant mess down here at the moment, but it won't look like that for- Oh, that's weird. It didn't go here. Um, it won't look like that for terribly long. This is just how I get, uh, stuff ready. So technically we already have an orange of these, but let's get another one real quick. I can't remember exactly how to breed another one using a hybrid one, but oh well. I'm sure we'll get another one soon enough. Eh, kind of encroaching on this one's space, but that's okay. Just want to make sure they all have plenty of room to uh, to spawn a hybrid if they so choose to. And we're gonna steal you. Also, I should probably put down this tulip I've been carrying around since yesterday. I have no clue why. I only noticed it after I finished filming that episode. Okay, um, let me quickly bury, or rather dig this up, <laughs> and then I can, uh, plant the roses in this spot. So, you guys, I just wanted to, uh, put this out there really early in the episode. Um, I am planning on doing another live stream today with Animal Crossing Relief, although it will not be this town. If you guys are familiar with my other, my main town, Rosewood, <laughs> not Rose Wolf, um, that is the town that I tend to stream. Uh, it will be at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. I do not stream on YouTube. I just personally do not like YouTube streaming service at all. I think it's kind of dumb. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in chatting with me about the game, if you guys want to uh, watch me play, if you guys would rather just lurk and just kind of watch, no worries. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I thought I would let you guys know this episode will be going up. Oh gosh, I don't even know when this episode is going up, if I am honest. It's just, uh, I don't even know. It's 9.45 right now, approximately. Um, the time on my DS is slightly off and it's actually going to start bothering me, I think. Um, this is a really empty area back here, but, um... Usually it takes me about two hours from the time I finish filming to the time it's even getting uploaded, so... <laughs> I'm not exactly sure when this will be up, I'm very sorry ahead of time, but... If you guys are watching this in the future, if you guys had school while I was streaming today, then... By all means, come check me out on the weekends when I also actually stream. Uh, I stream at 4 p.m. Officially now Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So usually I'm streaming Animal Crossing. I may stream something else. It's usually all Nintendo stuff. So uh, I want to chat. 
The house just doesn't have enough stuff in it. It's too empty. Are you joking, Bam? You have so much stuff in your house. You should come to my house. Crystal, be a pal, would you? Bring me some furniture I can put in my place. Alright, so something athletic related. Alright. <laughs> let's let's see if we can find anything today. I'm very sorry, by the way, if you guys can hear a lot of, like, I don't know, thumping and rustling in the background. My cat is just running from one end of my room to the other for no reason at all. She's just being silly. Ah, uh, here goes. Twenty-three, do we have that? No, I guess not. Well, darn it, we had twenty-two I saw on there. Okay, so a lot of you actually, I know this trick and a lot of you have been telling me to use it. A lot of you have been saying two holes, I just, or three holes rather, I just used two. Just like that. But uh, for the money rock, a lot of you guys have been freaking out because I haven't been <laughs> using the uh, the holes method. I just personally am so used to rose woodware. All of my rocks are surrounded by flowers, so I can't really dig. I just have to hit it by myself, you know what I mean? Oh, that was the fake one. Okay. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, that is exactly why I haven't been doing it, but I will try and do it for your guys' sake from now on, because I know it just, it seems to irk so many of you, I'm kind of surprised by that. It was kind of funny, actually. Oh, another thing, and I just remembered, we have a town flag that was submitted by a very lovely, a pretty long time viewer, actually. I hope you guys like it. Um, I probably will save that for the end of the episode and put it up then. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes over. I really like it. I think it looks cool. But, uh, actually, <gasps> we can't put it up yet. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> we, uh, we can't. I just remembered he gave me the QR code for it. And we don't have the QR code machine yet. Oh my goodness, we have to work on getting that then so we can change our flag. I completely forgot about that. I just realized I was doing my own method wrong. Usually, <laughs> when I said two holes, I meant, like, this. So I kind of sit in this kind of crack here and just like that, right? Yeah, I completely forgot. That's how I used to do it in um, Animal Crossing on the GameCube, which I was actually playing a little bit last night, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have enough to pay off that first home loan in full today. Which should be awesome. Hi, Willow. We couldn't get to see you very much yesterday. Uh, wanna chat? There's a rumor going around that you're a freshman mayor. As far as rumors go, that's not half bad. I'm cer I've certainly been called worse. You know what? That is a truthful, like, you know, rumor, so I'm, I'm just gonna accept it. I'm completely fine with that. <laughs> Okay, if you guys are wondering why I'm tilting the camera up, I'm looking for fossils behind the trees since we missed one yesterday, which is really embarrassing. I hate doing that. Also, I know that this episode will be going up after visiting Beer Dream Town, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, these episodes are kind of strange. They're not exactly their own scheduled series on my channel yet, therefore they're going up on the same day as other videos, so I mean... You know, lucky you guys, you guys have a lot to watch, but, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to when I can say, all right, I'm going to upload on this day, this day, and this day, because, uh, it's kind of been a little bit hectic filming this series, I'm not going to lie, but I love it, I love it so much, and I'm happy you guys are enjoying it too. All the positive feedback, and, uh, even if, like, you don't even comment, you just watch, like, those are my favorite people, because that's what I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm terribly shy when it comes to, uh, stuff like that, so... Oh! Oh! You have that song playing! HypnoKK is the one from Ica Village. Oh! Oh, Poppy, is this your house, baby? Poppy, change it! Floor's visiting too! Being popular is super sweet. Anyway, did you need something? Uh, I wanna chat. Do you remember this? Take a look! 
Yeah, I sent this to him when I was trying to get our uh, approval rating up. <laughs> this is the first letter you ever gave me from before you were used to writing letters. <laughs> Does it bring back memories? Poppy, this was like two days ago, man. Hello, Flora. Hey, Crystal. You came to visit Poppy, too? Alright, what did you want to talk about? Hey, Crystal, I keep... I keep hearing people say you're like a totally a freshman ma- okay. Laura, please. Gosh darn it. <laughs> We've heard about this once today already. I think we get the picture. Okay. Back on our hunt for fossils really quick. So uh, the only villager who we haven't talked to yet is Wolfgang. And Marshall, I still cannot believe that we got him, you guys. I am just... This town has been so lucky with uh, with villagers for me today. It's crazy. Or not today, in general. <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting this many, like, you know, really good villagers. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. You guys have been, you know, chiming in on, on YouTube from yesterday's episode. Just being like, holy crap, I can't believe you got him. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, awesome! Our uh, our peach trees are done growing. That's exactly what we need. Ooh, hello. All right, so we have three. Now we're looking for one more. Hopefully, we can find it today. If you guys are wondering, by the way, I kind of zigzag up and down my town while I'm looking for fossils. It's just something I usually do. <laughs> Once I have a path down, it'll be easier for me to uh, to find fossils just because I'll know kind of the layout of the town. Right now, I don't really know it too well. <laughs> okay, well there's the secondary snowball if I would want to build a snowman today. I think we forgot the other day. <laughs> But, uh, but that's totally fine. I'm trying to really shorten down these episodes. Uh, if you noticed, yesterday's was only 40 minutes, whereas the other ones were like 50 to 45. Um, how did I... what did I do? There we go. Um, so I'm, I'm very sorry about the, the length. It's just, it's gonna be like that, really, until we, uh, we get into a rhythm of how we want to do things. Alright, you guys, are you ready to see them? I'm so excited. <laughs> Crystal, right? I just moved here, but I've already heard your name all over town. My name is Marshall, and I bet everyone here is going to be talking about me soon, too. I'm pretty sure everyone's already talking about you, baby. Yeah, you and me, we'll be best friends in no time. Come on over whenever I... Whenever, after I'm all unpacked. Okay, sorry, that didn't make sense for a second. Aw, oh, he's so cute, and I love his, his beginning shirt. I forgot what it was. <laughs> All right, so hopefully he uh, he becomes a permanent resident in Rosewolf because uh, I want him to stay forever. <laughs> he is such a cutie. He's such a nice villager too. I, I really I really like him. I, mean, I see you, Sahara. I don't know if I really want you in my house right now. We'll see. Maybe we'll do it just for uh, giggles later. But I don't know. She tends to make more of a mess than anything, in my opinion. Okay, well, I think we only found three fossils again, so I'm gonna- <laughs> I have a, a long-time viewer on uh, my streams and also on YouTube who, uh, I don't know if he wants me to mention him, like, you know, um, <laughs> openly, but uh, long story short, I couldn't find a fossil or two in Rosewood for about two months, and uh, he came over via, like, you know, online connection. And uh, found them in about two seconds, <laughs> so I may need him to come here and find it for me. I'm so bad when it comes to this kind of stuff. He's also really good at hide and seek. Ah, <laughs> uh, assess a fossil, please. Let's take a look at these three again. Ugh, oh, that sucks. I'm so I feel so bad about it. <laughs> Did he 
say all? I didn't see him say all of these fossils. Oh? Yeah, never mind. There we go. Take all of them, my good sir. Uh, nothing. There we go. You know what? I wish if you guys would look down the lower screen for a second. I wish... You know, we have the, the, the bugs, we have the fish, we have the deep sea creatures. I wish there was one for fossils. And I don't know exactly how they would, like, make it look, but I hate having to, like, check the board or go actually through the museum. And by board, I mean, I mean this board. Um, I hate having to check to see how many I've gotten and all that kind of stuff. So, we don't really have much to sell today. Um, let's go check out the store. Some one viewer mentioned that I should probably start buying stuff. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Yes. Awesome. Um, one viewer mentioned that I should probably start buying stuff from Nothing Junction and all that so I can upgrade the store as soon as possible. Um, I'm really picky when it comes to items, but I think I found what I want to buy, bam. It's kind of sport related, right? Bowling is a sport, technically, right? You'll have to do. <laughs> okay. So I will try doing that more often. I just, ugh, I am very, very picky when it comes to furniture and items in this game. It's, it's actually really weird. <laughs> and same with uh, clothing, obviously. Oh. What time is it? Five, five minutes? Shouldn't this be open already? 10 a.m. Wow. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's why we haven't seen Wolfgang yet. He gets up at 10. Oh, that makes so much sense now. <laughs> well, I guess we'll quickly go sell this and talk to Isabel for the time being. You know, I feel kind of bad about teasing you guys with that flag thing earlier. Like, I want to show you, but I want it to actually be up on the flag before you see it, if you know what I mean. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn about what to do. <laughs> Gosh, I'm still getting used to where retail is. I feel like it's- I keep thinking that it's down further and like directly in front of uh, the town hall, but it's not. Okay, I want to sell this one- I think it's an amethyst. Yep. Yeah, those sell for like a really decent amount. I'm always surprised, I always forget. And there's those really lucky days when, like, you, you hit the money rock, but it turns out to be, like, an entire gem rock. That's pretty awesome. Okay. This thing isn't flashing for once. What was it today? Fish it forward. Donate it to a museum and a mole cricket. I have so much trouble with the mole cricket. <laughs> It's the under underground one that makes noise, correct? Like, I, I don't know why, I've just always been so bad. But I want to try and get it early so that we don't dig up any flowers or paths while trying to get it. Okay, we should probably sit in the chair. <laughs> ah, Mary Crystal, you came at a great time. Your time development permit is here, you can finally get to work. As Mayor, you have two primary ways to influence the growth of Rosewolf. The first is ordinances. By enacting ordinances, you can change the way Rosewolf is run. Of course, you can't just enact any old ordinance you feel like enacting. That would make you a dictator. Instead, you're able to choose an ordinance out of a list of provided to you. Try to choose ordinances that match up with the lifestyles and needs of Rosewolf residents. The second way to exercise your mayoral power is by starting public work projects. Public work projects add buildings and features to Rosewolf. I've already taken the liberty of putting together a list of requests from the town citizens. If there are requests that really speak to you, please select and begin development. That's all I have for you right now, but when you decide to work on either of those, I'll explain further. When you'd like to work on official mayoral business, just sit in that chair and I'll help you out. Alright, well that's exciting. Um, See, now I'm torn, because we have like what? How much do we have? 35,000 bells, so that's only like, what, three away from, or 3,000 away from uh, being able to pay off our first home loan, but I want to enact Perfect Town just because that's what I always do, um, but that costs 20,000. But at the same time, I don't want to enact it because I want to get black roses and wilt them to get gold roses. 
so I'm kind of torn. <laughs> Maybe let's just look at the public works that we have to start off with. Hi, Mayor Crystal. Is there something I can help you with? Ah, uh, public works projects. Thank you. First, choose a project that you'd like to work on from the list of requests citizens have made. Once you've chosen a project, we'll go search for a place to build it. Once you've found a spot for it, you'll need to raise the construction funds by asking for donations. Then, after we've collected enough donations to fully fund the project, the structure will be built. Please keep in mind that we only have the resources to work on one public work project at a time. Well then, let's dive right in. Okay, so... A bridge is probably the smartest thing to build right off the bat. But we don't really have that much money just yet, yet either. Hmm... Not to mention, we don't have the bridges I like yet, either. <laughs> I'm picky. What can I say? And not to mention, also, um, I like things to be kind of built around my paths, and I don't even know where my paths are gonna go yet, and, ugh, so much to think about, you guys. I'm not used to starting towns again. I didn't realize we had the campsite right from the start. That's cool. Um, okay. I think probably I'd build either the fountain or the cobblestone bridge. Just because, um, oops, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> um, just because, uh, I know that I want the fountain to probably be right in front of the, uh, train station. That's where it is in Rosewood. I really like that spot. It just, I don't know, it's really nice to come into a town with the fountain right there. Um, but at the same time, we really need the bridge. Not that we'll have it built anytime soon, because we don't have that much money just to start off with. Um, uh, let's see. We can take a look around and see what we want to place the bridge, because we don't have to pay it off right away anyway. And I kind of doubt that we're going to get the bridges that I like immediately, so <laughs> there's really no point. We can always tear it down later as well, so... Okay, so we have one here. And I think I like that spot. I'm extremely tempted to put one right here, but I don't know if I want one right off of my house like that. I don't know. I feel like it'd be so much of a hassle to walk around to here. I don't know, I don't know. I'm so torn right now. <laughs> But at the same time, oh, there's this little cove here and I'm going to want to put a bridge here. That top left hand corner of town definitely does not need a bridge. Put it that way. Um, you know what? I think I might- ooh, that's a big fish. What's that? Oh my god, I can fish with Isabel? Can I? I've never actually done this before. <laughs> this is cool. Will she clap if I catch it? Sometimes villagers, I think, in the older games would do that. I don't remember if they do it in this one. Aw, uh, no reaction, Isabella. Man, you're just jelly because I caught a black bass. Anyway. Uh... I don't know... We can always remove it later. That is my- that's my working theory right now, is we can always remove it. And this gives me a little bit of room in front of my house. And I can just... I don't know. You know what? Yes, we're gonna put it here. What do you think? Oh, it's decent. Sure. I don't mind that. <laughs> this is always such a huge undertaking for me. It's like when I was trying to build my house with you guys. I get very picky about placement. <laughs> okay, so he's going to be there for a little while because we definitely do not have the bells for this just yet. All the construction costs for public work projects in Rosebuff are covered entirely by donations. Essentially, I'm paying for it all. The residents pay for like a thousand to two thousand usually. <laughs> Of course, you can chip in some of your own money too, Mayor. Actually, I get the feeling we won't be able to gather enough funds if you don't help us out. Please don't forget to donate. It'd be hard to wait for all the donations we'll need to complete the cobblestone bridge here. By the way, including this new one, we can have a total of three bridges in town at any one time. 
As such, if you want to build a new bridge after that, you'll have to demolish an existing bridge first. Well then, I'm going to take my way- or going to make my way back to Town Hall. Okay, so there is that done. I feel like- I'm just- I'm thinking in terms of placement of paths. This is actually pretty good because I can just- Please don't cut off the- Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't know. I want it to be like a straight line, so I might have to move the bridge up a little bit. Because then it would go down. This this thing is really awkwardly placed. I want to point that out right now. I hate that there's always a pond right beside retail. Always, always, always. Anyways, let's go. Uh, let's go check out the campsite. See if there's anything we are interested in. This is Jones' uh, RV, I believe. Looks like it, at least. I was right. She looks so weird without her hat on, doesn't she? Like, look at look at her head. Anyway, there's nothing really that I want in here, so <laughs> I think I'll pass. Nothing that I can't get otherwhere or otherwise, if you know what I mean. I don't know. That's kind of cool looking. My billboard. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna have a library in uh, in this in this town. I don't think uh, I'm gonna put one in my own house. So probably not gonna go with that. Anyways, before we end this episode, I would like to quickly go and find Wolfgang. He's probably not in his house. Did he leave? Is he awake? I'm not here, Wolfgang. Okay, where did he go? <laughs> I really want to speak to him. I feel bad if I if I like miss out on talking to him. Um, the other thing I want to do though is run up to the Able Sisters, talk to Sable, and then uh, see if there's any clothes that we might want or accessories even. I still don't really trust you. <laughs> Every time I've tried to use her or him or I, I don't even know it. Um, <laughs> They've always uh, kind of ruined my uh, my house. Obviously, I can put it back to how it was, but <laughs> I've never gotten the wallpaper or carpet I've wanted. Put it that way. Hello there. Um, I do appreciate your, appreciate your coming in so often, but I just got a ton of work to do. I'm very sorry. All right. Well, she's warming up to us. At least she's starting to like recognize us as the same person chatting to her every day. <laughs> Anything? I mean, these are glasses, and so are these, but they're not the ones I want. That looks like the helmet from Fantasy Life. <laughs> I love that game, by the way. If you guys are curious, if you guys haven't played it, or you haven't heard of it, for sure, go look it up. It's so much fun. Oh, but if you guys are curious, by the way, this being built is actually going to be Leaf's Garden Shop. And I am very excited. You guys know I like breeding hybrids. Not that it's going to help too much. We have the watering can. We have all that jazz. We're pretty good. Uh, just trying to think. I really, really want to pay off that home loan today. So, at the risk of this going on a bit longer. You know what, Ashley? You know what we can do? I was going to go fish, but what we can do is just sell some of our non-native fruit because I think they sell for like gosh I don't even remember how much each and hopefully that'll be enough I don't I don't know <laughs> okay let's let's see how this goes I hope that this is gonna be uh, enough what is this again bowling pins right bam let's not forget about him <laughs> And here I thought I'd be ending it perfectly at 30 minutes. I'll be going just a little bit longer, you guys. Thank you very much for uh, for sticking with me if you're still watching. Bam, buddy, I got something for you. I don't know where you'll put it, but... Uh, you likey? You could give him a fish? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, some bowling pins? This is so great, lady bro. Hmm, where should I put this? Yeah, right there, perfect. Oh, awesome, he's gonna put it there right away? 
Wow, it's perfect. Oh, I might as well give you my old drinking fountain as a reward. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> oh, he's cute though. I can forgive him. Where did he put it exactly? Oh. That's actually a good place. I like that. And that fits really well with his home decor. That's what I try and do when I give villagers stuff is um, stick with their uh, with their decor. To a certain extent, if I don't like their decor, then, you know, I'm not gonna try as hard, but... Alright, let's see how much this will sell for. Oh, yeah, let's see here. Drinking fountain peaches were not selling that black bass. I nearly did, though. 3,500, is that enough? Hopefully it's enough. I can't- I think it was 38,000, I think. Was it 39? I'm starting to judge my- or suck and guess myself, rather. Oh, please let it be 38,000 on the dot. <laughs> oh, I think I see Wolfgang. Hey, buddy. Where were you? Anyway, what do you think of my house? Does it look great from every single angle? Of course, the interior is nice, but I also put a lot of effort into the exterior design as well. I suppose you could call it my baby. Oh, he's so cute. I like him. I know some villi- uh, some people- some villagers. Some people do not like, like, the grumpier villagers, but I don't know. I like them. Okay, so fingers crossed this is how much we need. I honestly do not remember. Uh, repay loan. <sighs> ah, that's so mean. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I hate you, Nook. What is with your awkward numbers? All right, you know what, you guys? I think we're just gonna call it here. I am so pissed about that. <laughs> we're gonna definitely 120%. Not even 110, 120, you guys. Pay it off tomorrow. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for sticking with it. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow.